This week I presented Ben with a challenge. Pickup trucks. Before when we've done challenges he's turned up in something totally inappropriate. So I said this week we're going to do pickup trucks somewhere around 35, 30,000 pounds. I've got the Isuzu D-Max Blade. Now let's see what Ben turns up with this week. I think this time he's actually done for his properly. I was expecting a G-Wagon 6x6, but... The Mitsubishi L200. Yeah. I see nice you've terrain. Come, I see you've come dressed for the occasion. <laughs> uh, yes, good. But I've definitely got it right this time, haven't I? I, I? I was just saying to our viewers, usually you turn up in something completely inappropriate, and this week you've done things properly. <laughs> the L200. And you've got the blade. Well, yes, him. I, I did think when I gave you the challenge, you only had a few to choose from. The Toyota Hilux, the L200, the Ford Ranger, the um, Nissan Navara. And the Brabus 6x6. I, I was going to say, I, I was expecting <laughs> the 6x6 Brabus, so we're doing yeah. well. No, no, I thought I'd go for something appropriate. Well, I think what we're going to have to do is put these cars through some of our challenges. Yes. I've managed to procure us a big box. I've realised that neither of these cars can be washed satisfactorily with two pounds at a jet wash, no matter how fast you are. And you've also found us some off-road roads. Yes, I have, and uh, yeah, to they're clean now, but for how long? I can't feel my hands. <laughs> oh, I genuinely can't feel my hands. It's weird. Don't That's like it. Right. That side. Skirt. Oh. What's the angle? Good. I was just out of the splash zone. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> I honestly thought I was going to get you after Michael did it, you know. Right, okay. No, no, no. I need a coat. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> Equally, um, oh. randomly, mine's not quite as bad. Weirdly. part of any pickup truck is how much stuff can you carry in the back well I found the biggest box I can find and well it fits in the back of the D-Max uh, yeah well I don't think I've ever seen a box that big where did you find it let's not go there okay well However, we better check mine <laughs> if you don't have the rolling top yeah on the truck then you can lay this box flat and it will go on top of a pallet yeah, it's a very clever system, isn't it? I mean, you can get a lot of uh, load in these vehicles. So, should we try mine? Let's go to yours. Now, there's a really simple way to open this and this. However, I didn't find it. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. Pull down, and then pull across. And I better go and get the big box now. Ah! <laughs> Same place. 
Your, a hand with your box. No, no, my box is fine. Thank you. Well, well, it looks like you've passed the big box challenge as well. Yes, and it's a similar system, isn't it? I mean, you've got this tonio cover, but if that's not in there, then you'll get more load in again. Well, remember and these bars. If you have longer items, then you can load it over the bars. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. You could secure two. However, I do like the chromes. I was going to say, when they look this good, you probably want something to cover them up so they don't get scratched. Maybe some nice polish. Now, to put it into context, you could fit about three Michaels in this box. Hmm, well, I wonder which one's won the car washing challenge. Did you manage to make two pounds work? Yes. Just. Yes, very impressive. Do this side in one pound. That's the 4x4 pickup challenge over, and it's not like we really went anywhere with terrain or mud or water, is it Michael? No, we only drove down muddy driveways and, yes. you know, things with leaves on. And the price brackets are extremely close as well, aren't they? Well, yes, this, yours starts from... 19,000? 19,000, mine's just over 20,000. But this one's... It's around 35,000 pounds. Around 37, but that's because it's got the rolling cover at the back. Yeah, it's got the chrome as well. I've got the auxiliary laser lights and well about every option you can have. Yeah, exactly. So these are very well kitted out. Full leather interior, cruise control. They both fed well in that one, didn't they? They're both very versatile and they're very well equipped. They are. Comfortable. You know, you can use them every day. We've been driving. Mine is quicker. Yours is quicker, admittedly. <laughs> Of course, that's important. Yes, of course. <laughs> but mine does only have a 1.9 litre engine. Yeah, true. Plus, you've got those crazy LED laser lights. For vehicles that at one time of day were just commercial vehicles and now the, well, family transportation vehicle of choice. Yeah, well, they're kind of perfect for the luxury driving around with the nice interior. Well, I was going to say, I can tow three and a half tons. Same with this. And you can put a lot of stuff in you the can. back bed. Oh, one thing to note is I have a private plate. Yes, you do, but worth probably more than my house. Yes, well, Colt Car Company kind of makes sense, doesn't it? I have laser lights you do. if you'd like to see the full review of the l200 barbarian 4 cab click the video that's kind of hovering somewhere around and it'll pop up and if you'd like to see the full review of the isuzu d max blade then click the video link that's floating somewhere over here thank you <laughs>